Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the BitCast. My name is Glenn Gutierrez, and I'm joined by... Hi, I'm Joey Hoffmaster. I'm the co-host. Uh, we are joined by two special guests. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Absolutely. I'm Aiden Hansel. And I'm Ookie Bookie. You might know me from such films like Ookie Bookie Awakening and Ookie Bookie Revival. So anyway, today we're going to be talking about the award-winning film Age of Dinosaurs. Uh, yeah, this movie has gotten very high praise from the box office. Oh, of course. Um, it Although it did not show in theaters... It got a lot of streams off of off of YouTube, <laughs> and it's it's just a very influential film. Glenn, would you like to talk more about it? Uh, so let me just say that this movie is incredible. It's very influential. The effects, I may say, are. I mean, it's my first child after the main character, actually. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, cool. I did. So um, I just want to say that you know they used a mix of like digital. And then practical effects. So, you know the movie Jurassic Park? Yeah. So, I mean, Jurassic Park sucks compared to this movie. Yeah. Like, if you see the effects of CGI in live action... I mean, you can't compare CGI and animatronic dinosaurs to real dinosaurs. That's a fair point, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Well, because they... Were the dinosaurs real on the set? I, I couldn't yeah. even tell. Really? Wait, they were real? Yeah, of course. Where do you oh think, my gosh! Where do you I, think I, you get dinosaurs from? I'm sorry. I thought it was just really good CGI. Yeah, wait. I, I yeah, wrote, don't. Be I, an I idiot. did not know. Hold on. Let, uh, let I, me look. I this did up. a whole research paper about what CGI and what practical effects were in this movie. But it they seems were like all, you wasted your time because they used. I none. I probably did. Yeah, it, it does say that they used twelve dinosaurs in the filming of this movie. Really? Yeah. Does it say where they are now? Uh. It does not. No, they might. Well, they I might know, have been taken by the Ukrainian government. Oh, I I know that the the most famous dinosaur, Jennifer Lawrence, uh, she died. Yeah, in oh. a car accident. Oh, really? What? Yeah. Well, wow. yeah. It's it. It was kind of like like a Princess Diana sort of situation. Oh, oh. But with dinosaurs. I see. Aiden, and do you know that these were real dinosaurs? Because to me, it just looked like CGI. No, I I had no idea, really. Yeah, you know, it gets a lot of comparison to Jurassic Park, and you know, Jurassic Park was only twenty years earlier than this movie, and like, this movie is just marginally better in terms of quality of animatronics, is what I thought. But now that I know there are real dinosaurs, that brings a lot of realism into the movie. So I think that definitely influences my opinion of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I remember I was talking to the director actually about it. Um, and yeah, Danny DeVito. You guys might know the guy. Yes. Um, really? <clears throat> yeah, he, he said that. He really, it, is he really that short in real life? No, he's massive. He's like six foot at least. Wow. Um, but yeah, he basically that was that was a big part of what he wanted. He wanted to show the beauty of dinosaurs because often they're uh, they're misrepresented. Under, yeah, exactly. They're mis yeah, they're underrepresented. When it's CGI, and, you can't make it perfect. You know, because like computers are good, but they can only do so much, and it, it, it's hard to give a dinosaur justice. Yeah, and if we if we really wanted to make like computer CGI be that good, you'd have like Terminator, and we did we don't want that. So yeah, mm -hmm. to to stop that from happening, we use CGI. But why use CGI when you can use real dinosaurs? Yeah, exactly. You know. So I just want to talk about my favorite scene real quick. And um, that's the theater scene with all of the uh, pterodactyls. And I thought that scene was amazing because of the camera work. It was phenomenal. Uh, it was shot in a way where it's it's very immersive. You feel very scared. It's almost like the pterodactyls. I are literally peed my pants in that scene. So, wow. yeah, I, I Thank agree. you for sharing, yeah. Wow. Continue. I on. threw up after, but that was because of <laughs> Taco Bell. Sorry. Continue, Glenn. <laughs> it... it were you gonna say like it immersed you like it felt like well, the pterodactyls I, I, I were felt, in the room i felt present like in the scene yeah i swear that if i looked like left or right that there was gonna be like a pterodactyl behind me yeah yeah and i mean this was in my own home like like you were saying earlier this really didn't get a theatrical release because it was so good that everyone wanted it like immediately when it on came YouTube. out yeah oh yeah yeah that, that that's why it's free on youtube <laughs> yeah yeah um I, I would just like to talk about um like how like in the movie we've humans create dinosaurs 
right? Yeah. Yeah, I think like like but humans humans have evolved to be so intelligent that we created dinosaurs, which which can obviously kill us, right? They've they've killed many people in the movie. Yeah. I th- I I I just think it's interesting that like humans have the capability to create or have like so much intelligence that we can create things that like ultimately can bring on maybe mass extinction mm-hmm. to humans. Well, like uh, I know you were talking about like that kind of like the messages that the film presents and yeah, something yeah. that I noticed was that this film was actually like really political and I mean the director uh, put a lot of hidden messages in yeah, the, the whole movie. thing about slavery was pretty messed up. <laughs> Well, yeah, because it's these dinosaurs being brought into the world, and instantly exactly. we, we show them off. I remember the the scene where they're like they're in the glass cages, and the audience is looking at them. That's that's yeah. basically slavery. Yeah, that that's very inhumane when you think about it. I mean, especially because the dinosaurs were were real, and yeah, like they had to trap them in a glass cage for many hours, like many days of filming. Thankfully, they put plants in there so it produced oxygen and they could breathe. So yeah, yeah, don't don't worry, well, they were if, fine. If you think about it, with the whole like these dinosaurs are real, don't you think they deserve the same rights as people? Like, don't you think like a dinosaur from that movie should have been able to vote for the president? Yeah, I honestly, I yeah. think that's why it was such an influential film was because it, it made really... me realize like we aren't the only people who need rights. Dinosaurs yeah. also need rights. And pigeons, but that's a different thing. So, yeah, but um, I think that was why it was such an influential film was because it brought to mind this huge thing that we, we, we'd we always look past, you know? Yeah. So um, one of the hidden messages, another hidden message I found in the film was, uh, do you remember when the carnivorous theropod, the Spinosaurus, yeah, uh, was running up the side of a skyscraper. Oh, I love that. Which yeah. did not that. actually have any spines, which I was surprised to see. So yeah. even know. though it's called a spinosaurus, I feel like that's a little false advertising there. Yeah, you know. Well, so so anyway, the thing that I noticed about that scene was that it really is a metaphor of how the upper class is able to climb up the ranks faster than the working class, because we live in a society that favors the rich and not the poor. Because, like, like if you think about it, the Spinosaurus is, like, like so much more of a predator than, like, well, like, you, a, like a small... Yeah, like like, one like of, a little... Like a Psilophodon dinosaur. doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, that, that's know? why... They're, they're, just, they're just bound to be sold on the... Black market. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. And have their kidneys stolen. <laughs> and sold. <laughs> I don't know what's so funny to you guys. This is a very serious... <laughs> Serious no, topic. no, no! I, I, I remembered a joke. Ah, you're thinking of jokes in a time like this. What? Can't, can't believe okay. you, Glenn. Yeah, that was. I'm sorry. It's very considerate of you. Is this what Danny DeVito would have wanted? I'm, I'm sorry, Danny. I really enjoyed your film, and I'm really enjoying talking about it with these three people. Do you have any other uh, political insights on? Some of the messages. Oh, I, I, actually, yes, I do. Oh, wonderful. So um, there's a scene. Uh, do you remember when the dinosaurs finally escape their horrible ca- captivity and the police are, like, right outside the building ready to, like, shoot these innocent animals? Right, yeah, they bring so the, the whole yeah. police military. So the dinosaurs deal, yeah. come out of the building and the police start shooting them. And the, the police shot first. So that is a metaphor for police brutality. If you think about it, these dinosaurs are just trying to get out of this slavery, this captivity yeah. that they were just born into. Yeah, their defense, and the police are their instantly shooting dinosaurs. Them. Like the police shouldn't be shooting. They had no dinosaurs. reason to shoot these dinosaurs. Actually, a uh, curious thing about that. I was talking to Danny DeVito, and he was talking about how he took inspiration from the Russian Revolution because I don't know if you remember. There's like the massacre, of like 1907 or something yes. like yeah, that. Of you know. Um, where the basically the police just like shoot a bunch of like innocent like protesters and whatnot, um, and ultimately, as we know, the the working class comes and overthrows the Russian Sardom, and just like that, the the dinosaurs that came and overthrow the humans. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Toward towards the end of the movie, um, like y- you could really see like the scramble in humanity. The, the dinosaurs were just taking over. I think they were just mad about being oppressed for their like because they're you know held in captivity Mm -hmm. and i I think they just 
were very angry against the humans for doing that to them. And so they they over overthrew the humans as as it was talking about. Well yeah, that that's just something that like goes up like it it what ramps comes up, up must go down. Exactly. Like it, it ramps up as the movie goes on. If you saw in the beginning scene there was uh one dinosaur and then by the end there was like multiple dinosaurs and then they started with trying what the to the dinosaur. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my friend, dinosaurs are in the movie that we're talking about right now. They're big oh, yeah. lizard boys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do agree with the, the, the underlying message, the inspirational story of the dinosaurs being put in glass cages and shown off to everyone to, like, you know, the really triumphant ending where they're all standing on skyscrapers and all over the city eating people. That is really beautiful, I think. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you think do you think the dinosaurs um uh escaped the city and started rampaging other cities across the US? Well, I think that's what they they wanted to do, but sadly uh the movie they they didn't want a sequel. So you know how you have those like very influential really good films like one hit wonders. Exactly. Just that's has to that's what this movie was because it's This was the Michael Jackson. He was a one hit wonder, you know. Um, <laughs> Of the film universe, you know? Oh, yeah, exactly, like Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, they didn't want to ruin the original message by doing Age of the Dinosaurs World, T- World Tour. That that was the sequel that they had in mind. Right. But thankfully, Danny DeVito was like, no, we can't do this. It'll yeah. ruin yeah, the he film's did, reputation. Yeah, he didn't want to do it just for, for money. It'll be a cash grab. Yeah. And I I admire yeah, I admire it, it, Danny DeVito. Like like we all know, sequels aren't as good as the original. It would have just like detracted from the original quality. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's a really like a, a fault you see in the Jurassic Park, you know, series. Oh. It's, a, it's a big film series where oh, they yeah, continued yeah. it. We're we're getting the si- we're getting the sixth one coming up right now. Yeah, they're I mean, still just, using clumsy CGI. Awful. Yeah. Like, it, I, I can't yeah, describe how much more I like Age of Dinosaurs than oh. Jurassic Park. It's just leaps and bounds right. ahead of it. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that it's because of the, the, the diversity, you know, like, like whereas Jurassic World is refusing to use actual dinosaur actors, and the few ones that they are using, they're paying significantly less than their ma- their uh, human counterparts. That's horrible. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's truly, truly atrocious. Yeah. And you think you can see that in the quality of the film, like like the acting from the dinosaurs is, yes. you know, just not quite there yeah. as it is in Age like of dinosaurs. subpar. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think, if I'm not correct, um, the pterodactyl in Age of Dinosaurs, I, th- I think he won an Oscar. Really? Oh, wow. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. For the one scene actually, in the theater that you were talking about, Glenn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was actually uh, about to like talk about that, uh, like that pterodactyl. What is his name? Ben uh, Cooper or something, you know. Yeah, uh, I know Ben. His, yeah, his um, interaction with Jennifer Lawrence, the Adrosaurus, you know, uh, that that, you know, that love part of the story was just so beautiful, and I think that it really showed that multi-special relationships do, in fact, work. You know. I I could not agree more to that yeah, statement. That's something you just don't see in Jurassic Park because they just didn't have the diversity of the, mm-hmm. and they, they they don't think that dinosaurs. dinosaurs can love. Yeah, mm-hmm. which as we saw in Age of Dinosaurs, they clearly could. Yeah. Well, the thing that's also controversial about the new Jurassic World films is that they make these dinosaurs like really lose weight. They make them get like surgery to like look better on camera, and like Age of Dinosaurs, they wanted the dinosaurs just you know to be themselves. It's really messed up how we're, we're like, like making these dinosaurs how we want them to be. We're making them look perfect. We're we're just setting unreal expectations for like all the dinosaurs out there watching, who like want to look like the dinosaurs from Jurassic World. Yeah, I think that's a great point. That's that's a very important yeah. thing to consider. Yeah, d- definitely. World really, un- yeah, think unfair. about. Uh, um, I I just want to say that you know it's it's a beautiful dinosaur movie, but I don't want to that to undermine like. The amazing action scenes in the the movie, yeah, the cinematography, oh, yeah. like the cinematography, everything. I, I should just say my my one of my favorite scenes 
is where the the male protagonist, the main character, cuts loose an elevator full of propane and it drops it on the head of a velociraptor. And that was just, it was just beautiful. It was a giant explosion. Yeah, beautiful and storytelling. Then, and, and I really loved how the velociraptor woke up and started chasing him about five minutes later in the story. And yeah. I, I, I just want to, like, it's well, it so just, exciting, it so, goes, so suspenseful. Yeah, it just really. goes to show, sorry, coming, going back to the, yeah. like, the societal thing about it. It just goes to show how strong dinosaurs are. You know, we always thought that the, the, these weak little, like, snicker mice things. And in reality, they're not. They're not. <laughs> they're just as strong, if not stronger, than, than any person. But, yeah, yeah get back back to the cinema. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cinematography. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Personally, if I had an elevator full of propane dropped on me, I probably wouldn't be doing as well as that Velociraptor. So yeah. I think, oh. yeah, that's a fair comparison. Um, but yeah, uh, f- like fun fact, whenever a dinosaur ate a person in that film, the reason it was so realistic looking was cause it was real. Wow. Really? Wow. You're telling yeah. me that the, the real dinosaurs ate real humans. Yeah. They took convicts on death row and to make it look, they kind of, uh, you know, but you know, like how, like, like the Greeks and stuff, like they would, whenever like a character died in it, they'd have like a prisoner get like actually killed so it looked realistic yeah yeah Mm -hmm. uh they did the same thing with this film actually yeah wow i mean it's great to integrate all parts of greek culture back back into in the modern day yeah i I think we should do that more like our school plays like what if we have like some of the like juvie students come to our high school and play the people who die at the end yeah i think that's a great idea (laughs) personally think that's a great idea like like you can really learn more about this movie than like like how to act and like like how to like have good storytelling yeah like there's a lot to learn from this movie like killing juvenile delinquents in school plays see that that would be a good way to stop delinquency with juveniles because yeah you know i like i wouldn't care about dying regularly but in a school play you bet your ass i would be yeah because then everyone would be watching it'd be embarrassing yeah Yeah. you know well guys i think that's uh that's a wrap i think we've really covered everything about this movie and i really hope that uh whoever is watching or listening to this podcast will go out themselves and and watch it so i just want to say thank you to my amazing co-host and any words from our special guest yeah just make sure to watch my next film Ookie Bookie versus the Predator. Um, yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger is in it, uh, and Thanos. So it will be, honestly, will probably be one of the best films of my career. That's exciting. Very exciting. Yeah, I yeah. Should have seen it. I, I would just like to thank our our um, our special guests again for coming into the studio today. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Yeah, of course. Oh, you're and, welcome. Uh, we'll see you guys next time on the Big Cast. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that was good. That was good. We we need to cut a lot of stuff out. Glenn, I. <laughs> <laughs>